So there I was. I had just returned from Sri Lanka. This was this was the end of 2017. We were going into I get yes, yeah, it was December of 2017. And so I was leaving Sri Lanka and that night our plane was detained for maintenance so they worked on the plane and um, we were behind schedule about an hour um, we finally got on the plane we flew to Dubai and because we were you know the flight was postponed due to maintenance um, we missed or I missed my connecting flight I was flying business class and um, Dubai or Emirates uh, Airlines uh, put me up in a uh, hotel because I had missed my connecting flight. They rescheduled my flight and they put me up in a hotel. I was very pleased with uh, the way things turned out because I had an opportunity to stay in Dubai. I was staying at a lovely hotel and I didn't have to work the next day, so I wasn't, uh, you know, behind schedule. I was uh, actually on schedule. Just the flights had um, had to be rescheduled in order uh, to get me to the proper destination. So all in all, I was a happy camper. And when I, I you know, after I spent, uh, I think it was between nine or nine and 12 hours um, there uh, in Dubai. I was feeling under the weather, so I didn't uh, leave the hotel. I just slept um, on a very comfortable hotel bed, you know, showered, and um, they also gave me uh, meal vouchers, which was wonderful. I ate two meals uh, in very lovely uh, uh, restaurants there. So when I was ready, I went back to the airport to board uh, planes to head back to Saudi Arabia. And I went back to Saudi Arabia and I hadn't seen 109 or I hadn't been in any circumstance where it was apparent to me that I was encountering these numbers. And I usually encounter them, you know, in very, in mostly stressful or, you know, very peculiar um, un under peculiar circumstances. And so I, I hadn't seen 109 and I thought I was in the clear. I thought, oh, I was imagining all of these things and so, um, you know, there's no reason for me to imagine anymore because um, these were just, you know, unique coincidences or what have you. Well, when I got off the plane in Saudi Arabia, which is where I worked and lived for two years and two years and three months, so 24, 27 months, okay. Uh, again, I felt as if I was in the clear, as if I wasn't going to see 109 anymore. I left, I deplaned, I went through immigration, I got on my bags at luggage claim, I exited the airport, and now it was time for me to hail a taxi. In that moment, when I walked out of that airport, the first taxi in line, which could have gone to another passenger who had arrived just before me, or who was arriving after me, the taxi license plate number began with 109. So after a wonderful trip in Sri Lanka, I thought to myself, I was not going to see 109 anymore. And here I was returning to Saudi Arabia and there I was encountering it again. So I, I thought to myself, what are the odds? How, what a coincidence it is for me to encounter these numbers in this fashion. 
and sure I had a little I had a I still have a thought you know running through my mind like maybe the CIA just knows exactly where I am and maybe they're you know putting you know putting the word out oh he's on this flight we're gonna need to set up this scene you know there have been movies about you know things like that or you know I kind of felt like I was in the Truman show like these things were happening because p other people are orchestrating these events and because the idea of them happening the way that they happen is just, you know, very bizarre. So, uh, but I just, you know, I just relieved myself of any fear and any doubt. I just said a prayer and I said, well, you know, those are my numbers. That's going to be my taxi and we're going to go. So we jumped in the taxi. He took me home. I, I paid him and I tipped him. I think I, I tipped him uh, handsomely, and uh, and that was the end, and that was the that is the end of that story.